Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music, and we're doing another episode of Guitar Tours, and I'm hanging out with the awesome Rick Beato. Marty, Thank you so much for doing this. Pleasure. Now, we've been hanging out here at your uh, lab, which yep. is very impressive. Thank you. I've joked already, but I'll say it again. You got quite an expensive backdrop here. I do. <laughs> <laughs> and so Guitar Tours is where, you know, we pick out someone's guitars and, you know, talk about some of the stories or something that's special to you about them. I think most people know you, but for the last three years or so, mm -hmm. you've had a, a, just an amazing YouTube channel going. What I think is so cool about you, and this is like a whole like detour almost that you were never anticipating. Right. I wanted to be a guitar player like everybody. I wanted to be in a yeah in a band and tour around the world and that never worked out quite right. But you know you started as a guitar player but then you ended up uh, producing a lot. I did. Yeah I produced for uh, about 25 years. Is that where the gray hair came from? <sighs> <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. 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 We're rocking out now. We're rocking uh, out. So you handed me this awesome Gibson. It's, it's like a Les Paul Jr. Les basically. Paul Jr. Yeah, yeah, it's got P90s on it. Uh, I just love the way that guitar plays. Yeah. I've played it a lot on my channel. Um, that you can see the neck, the back of the neck is really worn because play I played play a lot. It. Yeah. Man. Yeah. And this is the classic uh, TV yellow, right? That's right. I yeah. love that color. Yeah. I've owned that guitar for, that's probably about 20, 20 years old or so. Oh, and, really? Yeah, and um, it's it's a great guitar. The neck is just so nice on it. We're, we're cranking through a, a Bad Cat here. So uh, this is something I got recently. Um, Bad Cat is, uh, this is a great amp, especially for the money. I think it's one of the best deals out there. It's really versatile. I used it in a video and and I got so many comments on the guitar sound about how good, like it does an incredibly good Vox AC30 type sound, but, yeah. it, but it's really a lot more versatile. Can I, can I play it? Absolutely, love <laughs> to hear it. <laughs> Not too loud right now. No, and you're, it, you're has this, it has this power scaling. Um, uh, I'm not sure what they call it, but it has a, a, a an attenuator built into it. Yeah, because I'm feeling that. Yeah, I, like that saturation should be like bleeding my ears right. Yeah. Now. The, right? Yeah. You think? Yeah. Oh. That guitar for lead is amazing, I think. You sound a killer on it. <laughs> oh, thanks, dude. It feels good, though, doesn't oh, it? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's it, so easy to play. So easy to play. Okay, so uh, middle position, let's just... Uh, Let's let's do a little sound test here. So Different tone. You're way different. Way different. Yeah. All right, now I'm going to go uh, neck. I do that pen, I have to go like that. Well, guess which position's my favorite? <laughs> <laughs> Big shock.
Anyway, we got another amazing uh, Gibson acoustic. This is a 1957 country and western. I've owned this for 30 some odd years. It was uh, a friend of mine's who owned a studio and I was recording at it with my old band. And I remember we went in to have our record mixed and it was mixed by a guy named Kevin Shirley. He heard this guitar on this recording. He said, that's the best sounding acoustic I've ever heard. All right. And so, and he said, is that your guitar? I said, no, I wish it was. I've been trying to buy it. So I kept trying to buy it for about two years or so from my buddy Jimmy. And finally one day I, um, he sold it to me. He was broke and he sold it to me. <laughs> he was holding on. He was holding out. He was like, I know I'm going to revisit it's this. It's the only thing from having a major label record deal that I got that I still have, that they I, they gave me the money to buy it. You play this one a lot? Like I in played your... it on a million recordings. Every recording I've ever produced, if you hear an acoustic guitar, this is probably it. Wow. Yeah. That, that's awesome. If you don't mind playing a bit. Yeah. Wow, oh, man, that, that, it sounds really good. Actually, can, can I give it a strum? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You have a lot of guitars here. I do. And I said, I know it's hard to pick one baby or four babies or whatever, but I said, you know, pick some that have meaning to you. And we've got this beautiful nylon string guitar. I've played a million gigs on this guitar. I've played more gigs with this guitar than any guitar by far, no comparison. This is a late or mid 70s Guild classical guitar. I bought it from my guitar teacher in high school. I have been. I bought it in 1977 or 78, something like that. So I've had it ever since I've had it for 40 year, over 40 years. Wow. Yeah, but one thing that I mentioned to you is that a very famous classical guitarist, Christopher Parkening, married one of my guitar students. Her name was Teresa. She took lessons with me for about three years. And one day I got to meet him. He came by this music store where I was teaching and he played this guitar for an hour and a half straight. And it was unbelievable. He was my classical guitar idol when I was growing up. He had a, re um, a record of these Bach pieces that are, it's just unbelievable. It came out in the early 70s. and. He played for an hour and a half straight on this, and it was just amazing to hear one of your idols sit, sitting this far away and having him play all these things. Wow, and so it's got that uh, mojo. It's got mojo. All, he, he, all. he got some mojo grease on yes, it? Yes, <laughs> absolutely. I haven't changed the strings since then either. <laughs> right, right. It, it does look well played. It's very, it's been played a lot. Is there something that that you prefer or just something about like nylon strings and I like the, guitars? Yeah, I like for single notes. <laughs> Um, I just love the way that they feel. The they're thick and and you can really grab onto them for jazz. I think it's I really like it for some nice. reason. I like that. I I just love the tone of it and I love the feel Sounds of it. Sounds great, man. Yeah. Do you mind playing it a little more?
holy moly, gorgeous. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous guitar. This is obviously a Paul Reed Smith hollow body. Yep. I don't know the what the model is. It's a 594. It's a McCarty 594 hollow body. They sent it to me to check out and I've played it a lot and I love the guitar. It's a beautiful sounding guitar and it plays incredibly well. I've never played a PRS that didn't play well. Yeah, they all play well, but this one is particularly great and it's so light, but it's not neck heavy. That's the amazing thing about okay. it. The body's really light. I'm not one to be taken by the, the looks of a guitar, but I love a green guitar like that. What I like about this is that it's not too bright of a green. Yeah. John Mayer is, uses yeah. PRS. Well, yep. he's got his own PRS now. Yeah, yeah. So but it, Sky. But I saw in, uh, at least when he's doing the Dead & Company, he's playing more one of these yeah. than the Silver Sky. Yeah. Um, have you played one of those yet? I have. The Silver Sky is a great guitar. Yeah. It's, it's weird because it has a seven and a half radius, which I didn't, it, is really really round. I didn't think I would like it and it plays great. All right. Do you mind if I uh, try it out. take it for a I spin? I wanted to try it out. Yeah, yeah. You take it for a spin. So let's see. Uh... That's exactly what you should be playing on that guitar too. You know? Okay, good. Thank you. Know? you. Thank you for the uh, vote That's of great. confidence. Yeah, I'm. You know, I'm. I'm thinking like that vibe. Yeah. <laughs> This one lends, uh, well, hollow bodies. This is fully hollow. Yeah. Yeah. They lend themselves a little better, I think, to that yes. neck position. Yeah. Yeah. You get that, I don't know what you call More it. More throaty kind yeah, of sound. Yeah. Or yeah. It works well with the hollow, I think. Yeah. Anyway. Again, you guys, um, make sure to check out Rick's channel. I know most of you have already, but go ahead and check it out. We've got links below. He's got an awesome book that I use too, so definitely uh, want to endorse that for you. Thank you. Um, every once in a while, someone comes in that has watched me that's a, a guest, or like Mary Spender, for instance. Yeah. She she came for a visit, and she looked at my place, and she's like, oh, it's just like I saw on the videos. Like, so weird to be here. I've seen this. <laughs> I've seen that couch so many times. So, like, I want to return that to you and be like, I'm really here. Oh, right here. that's your hairy arm right there. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, dude, Rick, thank you so much. I'm going to shake your hand again, man. No problem. And, Pleasure. Uh, thanks for watching, you guys. Thank you. We'll see you again soon.